Hello and welcome to our GMS News Volleyball Live event. I am Chris Rometta and I'm today's announcer for you guys. Uh, today we have 7th and 8th grade Greenwood Middle School against 7th and 8th grade Perry Meridian Middle School. At the moment, the game is just starting with Paramaridian up 12 to 5. We apologize for the inconvenience. We had problems with YouTube, but fortunately, we were able to figure out a way to get this stream from here all the way to you guys at home, whether it be at the time of the event, as we are still trying to figure out a way to get this live for you guys to watch whether we get this to you live or after the event is said and done. We appreciate you all for waiting. Let's see. The ball is up. And um, Greenwood gets another point. Anyway, this is the first sporting event of the year for GMS News Live, so stay tuned for more events in the future. The ball is up, and great comeback. Paramaridian, oh, they put it over the net. Number 11 tries to save it for Greenwood, but it goes out of bounds. Paramaridian is now up, 13 to seven. Olivia Baker for Greenwood, swaps out for Reese Kinney. Gets another point. Allie Raymer goes up for the shot. Number five tries to save it, but it goes out and hits the floor. The score is now 15 to 7. Seven now. Oh my goodness. Meridian right now is showing pure dominance on the court. We shall have to see if Greenwood comes back from their 10 point deficit. Raymer goes up for the shot. Oh! Number six, Lindsay Waddell. Waddell, I apologize if I said that wrong. Tried to save it, but it went down onto the ground. Oh, they save it this time. The ball's up in the air. Oh, they send it back. Oh my goodness. Greenwood gets the next point and they get the next serve. What a great comeback. This shows that they are choosing how to do this very wisely. Meridian's coach is choosing how to try and tell them to try and get back on top. Isabel Reynolds is serving. There's a bit of confusion on the field. On the court, I mean, I'm sorry. All right, now that we're back on the court, let's see the serve. What a great hit. Oh, Paramaridian returns. Oh, it goes over the net. Let's see. Greenwood got that point. It was hit out of bounds. Going over the net, but it does not get there. 
Perry Meridian gets the next serve. They're up 19 to nine. What a great serve. Oh. And that is number five, Olivia Baker. Tries to go up for the ball, but the, it is too high for her. We have Mackenzie Hokinson serving. She goes up. What a great hit. Oh, Greenwood returns. Oh, but the ball travels so far. Yeah, who is that? Number three, Emmy, Emma Spears could not get up there in time. <laughs> Perry Meridian gets another point and they get another serve. Right now they're just taking over on the court. I'd like to see if Greenwood can come back. Perry Meridian fans are cheering and screaming on the sideline. We'll just have to see where this travels. Serve goes up. Oh, there's a return. Oh no, but they had it the opposite way. That was supposed to go. That was very promising for the Greenwood team. first in the first section of this game I will add a side note later in this stream or recording we're still trying to figure out if it if the stream is working Dalton is trying to figure out if live streaming will work speaking of Dalton he is going to come in later as a second announcer so look forward to that we all love Dalton and his shenanigans. There is going to be a short break, and then the second period is going to commence between the seventh grade Greenwood Middle School volleyball team and the 7th grade Perry Meridian volleyball team. So stay tuned. the moment the seventh grade volleyball team for Greenwood Middle School is strategizing their positioning for the next period 45 seconds remaining in this timeout
First serve, and Greenwood is not oh, not able to recoup from that serve. 34, Mackenzie Hokinson serves. Who got that point? That was Greenwood. And now Isabel Reynolds gets the next serve. Seen her serve. She is very good at what she does. Hopefully, she could get this next round for her team. Maybe they could come back in the next period. What a great serve. Okay, it travels back to Perry Meridian. They toss it over the net. Oh, it goes right back. Perry Meridian are not able to recover after that. Isabel Reynolds is serving yet again. Number 11 goes up with the serve. It goes over the other side. The ball is Let's see where it goes. Oh, what a nice hit. Reynolds goes back. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so close. They were almost able to save it. serve goes straight out of bounds. D. Waddle, Waddell, I apologize again, um, is serving yet again for the reason. What a great serve. Goes back, head up a couple of times, oh, it barely goes over the net. I'm assuming that's a sort of, sort of strategic move there to set the other team off, off guard. What a great spike over the net. Greenwood was not able to get it. It's now tied three to three in the second quarter period. Oh wait, oh no, Greenwood got that. There's a quick pause. You know, while we're waiting for the game to start, I thought uh, I joined back in. Don't really have a job right now. We're waiting for instant replay to start. All sorts of tef technical difficulties here at GMS News Live. Yep. In the timeout, the concession stand is advertised to the crowd. I might get something there a bit later. What do you think? Yeah, that'd be tasty. <laughs> oh, mm. the serve almost goes over the net, but hits the top of the ridge. There's a substitute for Perry Meridian. goes straight past Greenwood's Greenwood's volleyball teammates. It's 
now tie five to five. Number 10, Lydia Hartman is serving. Spikes it over the net. No one is able to get it. Chris is having a social time over here. The ball goes out of bounds. Pam Reading gets another score. It is now seven to five. Perry lead. Looks like everyone's coming back out on the court. Perry lead, eight to five. That's a great serve by Perry Meridian. Is now nine to five. Lydia Hartman is still the server. Greenwood is set. The serve goes, oh, it hits the net. Didn't reach the, the top. Greenwood ball now. Apologies for my grammar. <laughs> nice job, Chris. Now Reese Kenny, number seven for Greenwood, is ready to serve. What a great hit. They're trying to cover, but Perry Meridian is not able to put it back up the net. Nice serve over the net. Great serve by Reese Kenny. Greenwood is coming back slowly but surely. Scores now eight to nine. Perry lead. Nice save by Perry. Back the net. Oh yeah. my goodness! They try and recover, but it hits the net, and they can't go past that.
Perry Meridian serving. Number four. Oh my Angel goodness. Four. That went very far. And it got out as well. So now it is Greenwood serve at nine to 11. Marissa Harris serves it over. Hits it out of bounds. It is out of bounds. Serve is out of bounds. Greenwood gets another chance to serve. I like that thing that the Greenwood girls do. Serves it up. Oh, it almost goes back past the net, but it hits the net. You know, I'd say so, Dalton, that even though I don't know much about volleyball, this is really fun. <laughs> I'm looking forward to doing more of these. Yeah, double row porters. This is amazing. There's a whistle on the court. Chris, you're doing a very good job. I just got to say. I appreciate that. You are. So very kind. <laughs> All right, apparently it's Greenwood serve. Score is a uh, Perry right. lead with 14 and Greenwood 11 with the Reynolds. second period. And it's not cohesive, Dalton. <laughs> it totally is. All right. Isabel Reynolds goes up for the serve. Nice save by Perry. Sets. Oh, just gets caught by the net. Greenwood serve. Perry hits it over. I nice saved by Greenwood. Ooh. Oh my goodness. The ball is shot back into the crowd. Yeah. <laughs> we just hear the screams. Just hear the screams of innocent people. Number 31 on Perry. Mallory Elder. Grinnell ball now. Just did that dance again. I just think it's amazing. The teamwork they have. 
Greenland hits it out of bounds. What a great serve. There's a timeout. Take a little break. Yeah. I think they've been taking a break like this entire time, except for certain times. Well, this is actually a really fun time. This is the first time uh, trying to do instant, re instant replay. It hasn't been working because our live stream hasn't been going well. But this is also our first time having double reporters. Chris is heading my way so we can like actually hear each other talk. Be coherent. very determined that their team is going to do the best that they can do. So there's the Greenwood football team doing whatever they can to make everyone laugh. Yes. That's the Greenwood football team for you. Greenwood surf. It is tied 15 to 15. Lindsay Waddell, I think I got it right that time, goes up for the serve. Oh, and it's out of bounds. It's Perry Meridian serve. Just gets it over the net. Great serve. It barely tips the top of the net. Goes over the edge. Served by number 15, Emerson Romans. I hope you got that right. I know. We're she trying did it again. To what the heck? She's doing a really good job. Yeah. Except for hitting the top of the net. But that's okay. No. See if she does it again. Oh, that's Ooh. also good. Oh my goodness. That's so good. That's also good. Yeah. Who was that? Who what? Hit it? I'm not sure. One of the Green girls shot it up towards the ceiling. Yep. Oh, yeah. shot low. You know, despite my lack of knowledge of volleyball terminology, I hope this is at least entertaining. Yeah. We're trying to talk about random stuff like this. Yeah, we're also trying to pronounce people's last names, right? So if we get yes. it wrong, don't blame us for it. Lindsay Waddell. is trying to capitalize. They're only three points down this time. Oh, Pam Meridian was able to recover from that. Oh, what a... Oh, he was out of bounds. Greenwood got another serve attempt. Pardon us, because number 16 and number 6 have the exact same names. So hopefully you guys know who they are at home. Yeah. The bounds. Perry Meridian has <laughs> has a chance to serve. Number two on Perry Meridian's side, Lydia Hartman.
Kinney goes up for serve. Perry Marino covers, but it goes out of bounds. They should teach us how to do that. I'm telling you, that circle thing that they do, I want to know how they do that. <laughs> I um, certainly couldn't do that. They clap in front and then behind. Oh, Perry Marino is able to recover. Trying to see what's happening. Yeah. Oh no, they try and shoot it over, but it goes against the net. I'd say the sport is very cohesive overall. Paramaridian number four, Angela Borg in serving. Scores now a uh, Paramaridian lead with 22. Oh my goodness. That, that serve was just straight over the net. round. Oh my goodness. Perry Meridian has won the second round of this game. Uh, I think that's 2-0. Yeah. I'm not sure how they keep scoring volleyball, no. but I apologize they won both, both of our behalfs. Uh, we don't yeah, this is kind of embarrassing. Mm -hmm. we, they we won don't both know how periods. to announce the sport. Yeah. Um, oh my. But you know, we're here to support our team and our team's opponent, no matter who it is. Yeah. We wish good luck to every team in every game, no matter who, mm. in the hopes that they will all perform as well as possible. Mm. I'm just going back to kind of waste some time. Now here. there's going to be a 15-minute intermission, I believe. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, why do we waste time? What do you think were some good parts about that game? I'd say that um, Pair Meridian has done very good, especially with their serving. It keeps yeah. going barely over the net yeah. and con uh, not confuses, but it... They're keeping it low. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think that Green Road personally did some good jobs on like, catching the ball after yes. service. Yes, I'll say the, the low serves really catch... Um, the Greenwood players off guard, yeah. and that has allowed them to dominate in the first two rounds that have been played thus far. Yes, um, definitely. And as far as I can tell, every single player that is in this game is really good at what they do. There's yes, no definitely. bad people that are playing, yeah. and I really think that's really awesome because, you know, sometimes you see a case where it's like there's this one star athlete and then the rest are just there as filler. This, this sport yeah, allows this is like everyone. A sport. Yes, yeah. this sport allows everyone to interact in almost every way possible. Yeah. I, and it I takes think I, everyone's skills, not yes. just one person. I really person's. appreciate that that ability to just come together as a team and be be able to do all yeah. this stuff together. Yeah. They definitely play volleyball better than us. Yeah, I'd say I I can't I, <laughs> I can't I can't do it I can't. This has probably been the best live stream we've ever had. Well, yeah, I get. <laughs> I lost for words to be honest. Yeah. Anyway, has this stream worked yet? Has it worked? We're still having some. Yeah. Experiences um, not getting the stream started. So. Yeah, well, if you're watching this right now, either we got it able to stream, which probably isn't the case, or we recorded it and posted it onto our channel, which, you know, sometimes is the best way to do things. Yeah. If something doesn't work, then you just try and find an alternative to it. Yeah, definitely. Anyway, how do you think the second half of this volleyball game is going to go? on top of you. I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think. think it's going to go pretty well. Yeah? Who do you think will dominate in the second half? I'm not sure. We've seen both good skills from Perry and yes. Greenwood. So and I will say, the first round 
it was pretty much just one-sided. Perry Meridian took the round by storm, yeah, winning 25 yeah. to 9. But the second round, it was, what, 25 to 20 or something like that? Yeah, I so think Grand that Hunter Green one is finally out. figuring out how to do what they have to do. Yeah, definitely. Uh, and I think that... Um, uh, these uh, second half, it's eighth graders, so they've been playing probably for yes. I just one, realized that one year or more. I so. just I just realized that. Yeah. Um, so they're probably more yeah, experienced. I thought I thought volleyball operated like another another sport that we'll be doing later this year. A couple actually, but I guess I guess the eighth graders are now taking a shot at it. <laughs> That's my bad, to be honest. Because again, I I'm not very experienced in the world of yeah. volleyball, but yeah. I can tell that okay. I probably should be. <laughs> Whoa, that ball almost hit our mic. Dang. More importantly, in <laughs> you guys didn't see that, but uh, we're gonna take a slight win. break. I'd say as a final note that all of these players are very athletic and they they d will do very well, um, maybe even later in their school careers when it comes to different types of sports. I find it very impressive that these people are able to do things that a lot of others can't. I just think that's really awesome. As far as I can tell, it was supposed to be a 15 minute break, but the timer hasn't moved on the scoreboard as you can see in the picture at the moment. So um, we are just going to take a short break for right now. And soon we will get to eighth grade Greenville Middle School girls volleyball against eighth grade Perry Meridian Middle School volleyball. Yep, and uh, now we're going to be doing instant replay. So. We, we try to figure that out as well. So uh, now we're going to try instant replay. Yes. We're, we're hoping for that to be a main highlight of our streams this year. Um, it's, it's really something we've worked a little bit on. So hopefully we can make it look just as professional as the ones you see on live TV. We need to know. Uh, we're having a little bit of, de of debate. I know this isn't live, but um, if you're seeing this, you are here at the middle school. Tell us if Monty Chris's commentary was awesome, because I'm pretty sure it was. 
I will add, people are laughing at us. I don't know if that's a good thing. But, yeah, I know. You know? I think, well, if we're Mr. Dean is laughing. Because we always want you to have a good time when you're watching our live streams, whether it be yeah. because the game is really awesome or because the commentary is terrible. really ignorant. Yes. <laughs> I think that's almost... But anyway, we work on it. You know, and later in the year, I'm hoping to do as much commentary as possible to be... Announcer one or announcer two as much as possible. I know that I know that I might be able to do this more often, which I'm really happy about. But yeah, yeah, I, I know it'd be awesome to have every game we do, uh, and hopefully like a designated sort of thing. I don't know. Yeah, hopefully before uh, football ends, we're gonna get an uh, Ethernet antenna right. out we're there. Doing